today I'm really excited because I'm going to be moving a bunch of my collections into three A5 mini binders. I've been considering this a lot and I finally just decided to go for it after much consideration and research from other YouTube videos of people who have moved over to mini binders. And the collections I'm going to be moving into these binders are collections for groups that I don't really actively collect anymore or cards for members who I don't collect but wanted to keep the cards of. And these groups include TXT, WeI, Stray Kids, BTS, XO, Post X1 Soloist, 17, and then some other random extra cards I have of Wavy, NCT, Victon, and Gravity that are currently in this binder. And one reason I was really considering using mini binders is because since I don't really collect many of these groups anymore, the way they were laid out in my regular binders rarely had any full nine pocket pages, and I'm kind of really over the six pocket layout right now. And I really wasn't enjoying looking at these cards whatever I would look at them. And also most of these cards work really well with the four pocket page layout. And then I also just find mini binders, especially the Beyond D brand, super aesthetic. And before I get started, I just wanted to go over the supplies I'll be using. The binders I have are the ever popular Beyond D binders. And I got mine from Mochi Things. They're an American based stationery shop and they ship very fast. I bought mine around 2 a.m. and then they shipped within about eight hours or so the next morning and then they arrived in three days so i would highly recommend mochi things if you're looking to get the binders really quickly other options if you don't have a korean address like i don't would be the etsy shop durunaru who ship from korea the price is pretty comparable once you factor in shipping from korea though i actually think mochi things ended up being a little bit cheaper but i'm not really sure about the wait time from durunaru but I would assume it's a bit longer because of the overseas shipping. Then the sleeves I'm going to be using are the BCW board game sleeves that are 56 by 87 millimeters. They're a noticeable bit thinner and slightly cloudy or less clear than Dragon Shield, but the price was the number one factor in deciding to get these because I found a listing on eBay for 500 sleeves for $23, and Dragon Shields roughly go for about $16 for 120 and that's just way too much, and the price difference was about one-third the price for the same amount. And the BCW ones are still really nice quality, and I would highly recommend if you're looking for a much cheaper alternative to Dragon Shields. And then the four-pocket pages I'm using are just the normal B on D ones that come inside the binders, but you can also get pages from the brand Amifa on Makari Japan that fit regular size sleeves, but I figured I would just get new sleeves rather than new pages. And with all of that out of the way, let's get started. So I've started sleeving some of my cards just to test out the sleeves, and I'm going to continue sleeving the rest of this stack now. So what I have left to sleeve would be Stray Kids, EXO, BTS, and yeah, that's what's left here. And I've already pre-sleeved Wii and some of my other cards. And I will also be taking out all of the cards from this binder and re-sleeving them as well. And I actually love sleeving cards because I find it really relaxing. And also, since these sleeves are really small and the cards fit in almost exactly, I don't have to bother centering the cards and... That is what takes up a lot of my time sleeving cards, is getting them perfectly in the center. And I don't have to worry about that with these, so that's great. So I've just started taking out all of the cards that are already in this other mini binder, and I just wanted to say that I'm actually really happy to be moving all of these cards into mini binders in new sleeves, because now I have like 200 extra white sleeves, so I won't have to be buying any new white sleeves for a while, because I'm literally always running out.
Okay, and that is the end of the NCT cards I have. Now, sleeving these is so fun because there's no centering. The cards just slide in. Yeah, that's NCT. And I don't think these Monster X cards or these TXT cards are going to fit in the pages I have, so I'll figure out what to do with these when we get there. Now, starting with TXT, I don't have that many cards of them because most of their cards are either big or just aren't really working well for these type of sleeves, but I have a few here. And that is TXT. I'm actually going to continue collecting TXT even though they're going in this binder, but they fit nicely in this one because they hardly have any cards, so it wouldn't really make sense in one of my larger binders. Now I'm sleeving 17. I collected 17 about a year ago. It didn't get very far, but I didn't want to get rid of any of the cards because I still love the cards. That pretty much is what I do for almost all groups I stop collecting. Like, I rarely actually trade off the cards. I just don't collect moving forward. Legit, the amount of these small sleeves I bought is crazy, but it was such a good deal, I just decided to buy more than I needed. Now I'm sleeving post-produce-related solo cards. These sleeves are so slippery. I don't know if you've seen me like drop a bunch of these piles. I am finally almost done sleeving. The last group here is BTS. We are almost done. There are so many stacks.
Okay, so I think I'm done slaving everything. This is the BTS stack. That's NCT and Wavy, Wii, XO, and Song, which I found after I thought I was done. Um, TXT, 17 Stray Kids, and this is like some extra victim cards that I pre-sleeved. So I actually haven't decided which groups I'm going to put with which because I'm mostly just going to do them based on what fits, but for now we'll just start sleeving. I sometimes here used to pull these apart, so I'm just going to do that real quick. And for group dividers, I decided to get some grid paper because that is my favorite look. So, okay, I'm going to put all the one pocket pages at the back for now. And put one of these sheets in the front. Okay, so I'm not sure how I'm going to decorate the front. I want to get some deco stickers to decorate them. And then eventually I will customize these for each group. But for now, I'm just going to start putting cards in. So I think I'll start with Wii Eye since I have the most semblance of an idea already of what I'm going to do for their layout. So I'm not actively collecting Wii Eye anymore, but I collected all of the album cards for their first album. And back then I collected Junso and Yanga. So I think what I'm going to do is Junso's column and then Yanga's column and then just go on like that. I don't plan on double siding these, but if I run out of pages, I might have to do that. Then next, I have the full set of Make Star A, and then I have two Make Star C's. Oh my gosh, I keep having to get up and turn off the air because the air keeps coming on, but it is literally so hot right now. Like, it's literally summer and I'm dying, but I can't film with the air on because it makes too much noise. And, oh, this is literally a dilemma. Anyway, but that's the end of Make Star. And then lastly, I have their Polaroids. And that is all for We Eye. Then next up, I think I'm going to put away TXT. So the order that I'm putting these away isn't how it's going to be. I'm going to reorganize the order in different binders after, but for now I just want to put away the collections as I just think of them. So TXT do not have many cards because most of their cards are big. So this won't take up too many pages. I think just two. So first I have Taeyeon's Magic cards and then I have this target card that looks like a freebie and then this which I'm gonna put some white paper behind it but for now it's just gonna go here and then I'm gonna put all of the selfies on the same page and that's literally it for TXT Then next, I think I'll do 17 since it was already laid out a certain way, and I already know how they're going to go, although I think these kind of got out of order, so I'm going to have to fix those if they are. This page, they're kind of out of order from the way an ode should be, but this page is supposed to be like neutral tones and oranges and earthy tones, so that's this one. And then this page is for the outside cards. So this is a poet and this is a, the poet, but they're intentionally separate. And then here is hope. Then I have begin and real and I put begin with real since he's wearing a denim in both of these. And then last I have Hengare. And that's it for 17.
Now I'll do post produce. So I have some unsung cards from his As Promised photo book. So the way these are, there's five concept cards and seven selfies, but obviously four, four, and four. So I'm going to end up putting one of the concept cards with the selfies just so that it fits fully. So the first page of selfies are going to be my favorite four. That would be these four, and then I'll put the rest on this page. And I'm going to put this concept card in this spot because it's the same outfit. And then the last four concept cards can go on this page. Then here I have some of Sungwoo's pre-order cards from Fame. Just putting these cards the way they were before in my other binder. And then I have this Busuk card from Greed, although I'm actually getting a couple of his cards from Tasty, so that will probably have to move on to a new page that's just dedicated to his cards. Then I have some O2 lines, so I have Dongpyo's cards from the Want It kit. And then two of Unsong's cards from his solo. And then the last soloist I have is Sungyoon. So the first three I have are from Equal. And then I had his IDs here originally, and on this page I had these stickers, but let me see if these stickers will fit. Oh good, they do. So these stickers will just have to go in here without sleeves, but that's fine. I know, I think this one was here. And then I had these little, whoops, pre-order first press cards or whatever these were. And then lastly, I have these four um, QR codes from Set that Brianna gave me because they were her leftovers. <laughs> now I'll move on to some of my larger collections. For EXO, I do the soloists and subunits first. So this is City Lights. Then the Kino from City Lights and one from Delight. And then I have this Japanese card, which I figured would go on this page because I didn't really know where else to put it. Then I have his four cards from Blooming Days. And then XOSC. And then at the back will go the remaining Baekhyun solo cards that I decided to keep a long time ago. This is one of my favorite cards, literally of all time. And that is everything for this binder. It's really full, but um, it's not. These groups aren't going to stay in here. I just arbitrarily put them in here while I finish the rest, and then I will reorganize everything from there. There is a lot of pages in here, and I'm actually going to take the string out of all of these because I don't really like the way it makes it like clamp like this on the edges of the corners. So I'm going to take the string out.
And here is this one. Now on to the next one. I stole a couple pages out of here to finish the rest of EXO. I think for the start of this binder, I'm going to do BTS because it might take me a bit of time. I'm kind of conflicted how I'm going to set these up, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to start with Love Yourself, Her, and I'm not really going to do these, I guess, in the most conventional way because I'm just going to do it in the way that's going to save the most pages. So this will be Her L, and then I'll do Her O and E on the same page. I have her V, but I honestly hate those cards, so they're not, like, gonna go up at the front, but I do have them, like, for completion purposes back in the day. So for Love Yourself tier, I have Hobi, Tay, and JK's full sets of these, but instead of doing, like, Hobi, Tay, JK three times or four times, I think I'm just gonna put each member's full set on one page because that saves the most room. I don't know how I feel about this, but I'm just going to do it for now since I'm trying to save as many sheets as I can. I feel like a lot of people probably wouldn't know I have like a BTS collection because I don't collect them anymore, but I have like too much nostalgia, I guess, for these cards to get rid of them. And also, um, I still love Hobie and Tay a lot. I just don't really actively follow BTS much anymore, but I clearly... And still attached to the photo cards, I guess. So, yeah. Back in the day, I actually used to collect OT7, and then I downsized that to three members, but the third member wasn't ever anyone specific. It was just any third card I liked the most, but it was usually JK because, um, I don't know, I just liked a lot of his, but I don't have all of his because I never really actively collected him all the way or I did collect him fully but when I downsized the other stuff I didn't intentionally just keep his cards and then I'm gonna put these back here because uh tier Y is actually my favorite BTS photo card set of all time so I kept the whole thing when I downsized so these are all just gonna sit on this page together Then next I have answer, so I'm going to do these back in columns, so answer S, E, L, and F. Then persona, so version 1. Version 2, three, and 4. And for 7, I'm going to do the same thing I did for tier because I have three full member sets. And it really just saves the most room this way. And for this album, I actually decided to keep all of Jimin's cards. And then back here, I'm just going to put some cards that I kept for whatever reason. It's like one from each version, so tier, answer... Persona and seven. This is just like a little randoms page that I wanted to keep. I have BTS World and two of Hobie's DVD cards. So I think this is fourth muster and then 2018 memories. To be honest, I have literally zero clue where either of these came from because I never bought either of these DVDs, but I somehow have these cards. But yeah, I think that is finally the end of BTS. I actually just tested them, and these Monstex cards actually do fit in here. Not in sleeves, but I think they'll be okay without them, so 
I'm gonna go ahead and put these in now. So this first page is the code and then the connect and then like mostly group cards. Then I have another, the connect card and then are you there? And then follow. Then Fantasia, which is actually the last era I collected for them. Then I have some units. I just kept my favorite cards. And here's these. Not that many, but I love these cards. And this binder is pretty much full, so I'm going to move these last remaining pages into the next binder. So in this one, I'm going to start with Stray Kids. I never really mentioned it on my channel, but I actually decided to stop collecting Stray Kids a while ago. But I kept a lot of the cards, but I just figured I didn't, I wasn't really that happy with the collection and it wasn't really, I didn't have any motivation to continue it. So yeah, I just decided to get rid of the cards I didn't want, but keep the ones I did want that I actually liked a lot. So this first page, this... Um, these aren't really going in order because I'm just going to put them how they look better on the page. But yeah, this is I am not and I am you. And these are the non-border cards. And then for this page, I'm going to mix I am who and I am you because they're the border cards. Slight detour and lighting change because I accidentally dropped an entire stack of photo cards on the floor and they all spilled and got unorganized. So I dealt with that and now I'm going to continue doing Stray Kids. So yeah, this was I am who and I am you. And then this will be, I have two from Miro. And then yellow wood. Then this page will be for border cards from yellow wood. So yellow borders and black borders. Then the two selfies, so indoor and outdoor. Then next up is the Vanter. I'm actually going to put these lenties on the bottom because they're heavier. And then the concept cards at the top. Then the two selfies from Levanter, and then go live the double-sided hoodie cards. And then I have five cards left, so these don't really fit onto the next page, but... Here's these, and then I'll put this somewhere else. And then I forgot to put the units in, so I'm going to do that now. First, I have two from I am not, and then I have three from I am you, and this, they're going to be out of age order, but I'm going to put this one on the next page since it's sideways. And then I also have the units from Yellowwood, the pre-order ones, so I'm going to put those with this since they're all sideways. So this is this one, and then... A door is this way. And 
I'm just gonna put this on the back so that, just so I don't have to use another sheet for that. Now I'm gonna put the extra NCT cards I have that used to be in that other mini binder. So I'll start with 10. Then I have these cards from Punch, and then this extra one from Punch, and then before I had these on this page. And this is like the divider between uh, 127 and 2020 cards. 10, Mark, Hei Chan, and this. Jungwoo Kino, and then Resonance Part 2, and lastly I have these tour bus cards, and this random Taeyong card that just is going to go here. Okay, and I think that is finally all the cards, and I have a bunch of pages left because this is what I'll be using for the future so I'm glad I didn't run out although I don't think I'll be updating these binders much in the future because these are primarily collections that I'm not currently collecting but we'll see so yeah now I'm just gonna see if which collections I should combine together that would make the most sense so that right now this is Stray Kids and NCT okay I'm gonna take out Stray Kids and put EXO with NCT because SM So that's SM, and now let's see. This is Monster X and BTS. So I'm gonna put TXT at the beginning of this one because big hit. TXT literally only has two pages, so this will not add much bulk to this one. And I'm going to put Stray Kids at the beginning of this random binder. So this one has We I, 17, and produce related things. This one's kind of random. I'm gonna put all of produce at the beginning. So produce-esque related things would be like We I and all the solos, and then I'll put Stray Kids and 17 at the back. This binder is the most full, but I think it'll be okay. The other two will have space in them. Eventually I'm gonna make some dividers to differentiate these but for now or I'm gonna decorate the grid paper but for now this is good this binder is super full so I'm actually gonna put 
17 with the BTS section because hybe, I guess. This binder is TXT, BTS, 17, and Monster X. Monster X is just gonna chill back there for now. Okay, I think everything is good, so I'll do a quick flip through now. So we'll start with this binder, it's the smallest. This is the SM binder, so I have Weavy and NCT. Then XO. And that's the end of this binder. Next up is this one. It's probably the most full. We have TXT, BTS. This layout is a bit unconventional, but it does the job. Then 17. And lastly in this one, Monster X. And lastly, we have Wii. Then produce soloists and stuff, so and so on. Sungwoo and Wisak, Bunkyo and Morton Song, and Singyun. Then lastly, Stray Kids, Units, and Solo Cards. And I think with that we are finally done. Again, I'm going to decorate these with something and then also decorate the cover soon because right now they're just really bland. I might actually put these two photo cards in the front of two of them. These are real photo cards, but they're just dupes I have, and I think it'll be okay. Also, they're in a sleeve, so shouldn't be too bad. Legit don't understand how people slide these in so easily because they're like really tight. Alright, so these are on the front of these two. I don't find something for the last one. But yeah, that was me setting up my new A5 Beyond Z mini binders. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm really excited to have these now because I feel like it just really condenses down a lot of my collections that were in a big binder that I really wasn't satisfied with and I think I'm just gonna be way more happy to look at these and appreciate these collections a lot more. So this video was probably really long but depending on how fast I speed everything up, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.